Alright folks, we are back for round two. Uh this hand is actually pretty bad. Yeah. I think we have one seven, two six, and we drew all of them in in the opener. And one five. So we drew our four most costly spells and two lands. I don't think it's a keep. Well this is not great, but we can try. I think we keep that on top. And we will not fetch turn one. I'm I'm fine drawing that uh overground tomb. Another green deck, alright. Again, as I said last round, in Vintage Cube, playing Storm is a lot about just hitting your land drop and surviving until you have enough un until you have enough land to do your stuff, so I don't mind drawing more lands. Okay, not bad. This is five mana. So we might just, <laughs> I mean, the oven is not doing anything, so we might just hard cast this Garouk and do work with it, who knows. Solemn Simulacrum. I am gonna fetch I believe we don't need more black. We don't actually really need more blue. So I, I'm, I should probably fetch stomping ground in case I, I need some red for my bring to light, right? Yep. Should probably anticipate now. I don't really see any advantage in waiting. Okay, that's interesting. So if we black lotus we can play Garuk now. Which is not bad. We could be bring to light. I wish this was, you know, a ponder and I could I could keep everything on top and maybe set up a win with storm because with black lotus and ritual and bring to light for um what the name of that thing? Uh Yogmos Wheel. With the brain freeze and throwing hand I think it could have been enough. Now we can only pick one card. Yeah, you have to YOLO it up and just drop that Garuk and hope it does enough work to win or uh it gives us enough time to um to storm later on you know turn five garuk predator on a pretty much empty board is decent against white queen sounds like a fine option If I had probe before uh, anticipating, I could have drawn one more card and maybe get, get more information about what I would want to keep with my anticipate or not, but yeah, I'm not even sure it's the line. I really think you want to keep probe for the turn where you will try to storm. So I guess they want to draw a card, which makes sense. Definitely not gonna lose to your loyalty on my Garouk just to deny them a card here doesn't seem like the best idea and they are missing land drop maybe or ring well that's a clean answer to Garuk for sure no they do have land drops all right nope I mean the good news is we have two um, draw seven in deck that we can draw, plus some tutors, so we might just be able to do that, as we don't have any fuel left. At some point I might just have to fire that probe just to do something. 
guess they are going to blow up the stomping ground. The grave, interesting. Like, it, I still have double black and double blue. Triple black and triple blue. Seems like a, a strange play to make. I'm happy that the best they could, could do with 7 mana is just dropping a slime, though. I think I'll wait one more turn and maybe I'll just fire that probe and try to um, look for some action. Like if they play something threatening, I, I will have to, you know, make a move basically. Well, this kind of qualifies, especially since I guess we can kill with brain freeze, but if they start getting a bunch of life, then uh, tenders of agony is no longer an option. Let's look at their hand, probably just be one blue. Okay, uh, looks like we are playing against the same opponent almost as last round. Their hand is pretty strong. Damn. I'm just gonna write down a couple things. Through the breach. Harmo. Done and order declaration. Okay. Memory char is gas. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, it means that we'll be exiling our win condition. And I think storming, like, they will be at 20. Two-ish. I'm gonna attack here because they can declaration stun my beast, and I'm not gonna get a clue because it's a token. So I might as well attack and make that trades and not let them do that and beat me down with the slime. I mean, we kind of have to hope they don't go for the three to bridge the rasted and blowing up my memory jar, but. They will most likely do it, and if they ever draw land, they will probably just hard cast the dawn. <laughs> oh, no, great. Like, if we can keep the jar around, we actually have a decent shot, I believe. Interesting that they did not choose to through the bridge that rest the dawn. We know they did not draw land, because if you do, I believe you just... I guess they could have drawn a land, though, and they will hard cast the rest and post com combat, sorry. That could very well be an option. <laughs> Looks like harmonized still. No. Yep. Pretty sure they should have through the breach and blow up my uh, jar. And I guess they don't have better target than Dr Dromoka or Terastodon with uh, Natural Order. Basalt Mono is no problem. <laughs> I think we'd rather draw an untapped land in if, if anything, so I'm just gonna jar now. You probably wanna do your land drop from the jar anyway. Okay, there's a lot of things going on here. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Oh! <laughs> that's cool. So we are gonna... Oh, and there's an Oblivion Ring too. Oh, that is the, 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 the complete nut, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> Upheaval here is just... It's just insane. Uh, let's... Uh, unfortunately, we have to tap two lands before we hard beat. Yeah, there's no way to to, to tap two Cignat and have green. <laughs> Question is, do we... So this is eight, nine. We don't... We could ten reels them, but I don't really see what this does. I guess it's fine. I mean, anyway, we are going to discard our hand. It means we will not be able to play land after upheavaling, but I don't think it matters. We'll have a Garouk. 
This is funny. So let's just make sure. I should not have played the Godless Rhine, I, I, sh I guess. Losing to life was unnecessary here. Yeah. So we have 11. So we can go Tutor, Tendrils, Upheaval. And we can Tutor for Yogmoth Wheel. I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal anyway. I don't think they are ever coming back in this game. But th this is kind of funny. <laughs> the good old ten drills for three. <laughs> I mean for six. Hello there. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. And we kinda lost our entire hand too, but... We have a Garouk. <laughs> we have a Garouk. Probably getting... Uh, Yogmos Wilmo is not the best idea, but... Upheaval tend to be pretty good against... Uh, against Oblivion Ring effects and whatnot. Playing a limited PTQ final right now, this is why I'm looking at that from time to time. Just checking. Might be a little bit short to do next round, we'll see. This is why I'm not recording, Why, by the way, while I'm, I, I mean, I am recording right now, so it's kind of nonsensical, but this is why I did not record a draft, I, you know, I was just basically doing a draft between rounds just to, just to pass time, basically, and have fun, and relax myself between these awful rounds of Among Cat Limited Seal. No, I, I mean, I don't mind that, it's just... It's not awful, it's quite skill-intensive, it's just very very much driven by draws and bomber areas and powerful cards, so sometimes you can't do match, but some games are, in are interesting for sure. Counter spell against a deck with a lot of power in it could be an option. I'm gonna cut Den Protector, it just doesn't seem very very exciting. Maybe I should main deck in counter spell. The issue with counter spell is that well it's decent at buying you time. However uh this looks good. However it can uh kind of backfire if you draw it while you uh, yeah I think we, we are we want more information before we choose what we will do. Oh, well, their hand is pretty bad. Uh, just not even gonna write it down. Usually I take a screenshot, but right now I have a screenshot of my deck and I don't wanna... Uh, thinking. So we... Oh, we, we kind of... Would like to drop the jar first. Should play Scalding Tarn here in any case. And then we just go Mana Crypt Time Twister. Don't feel like this is the, the line. <laughs> okay, they they did they did they drew that. I don't think this was in their hand, they had a bad lance and something else, I believe. So what could we be fetching for that would be good? I I would take a black lotus if I could. Channel. Hmm. So if we fetch stomping ground here, most likely we should actually fetch drop. Maybe no, maybe stomping ground. Then we can go channel. Channel time twister with channel available and no and memory jar. 
That's kind of cool. I'm not sure if it's great. I mean, we'll try. Let's let, let's do something a bit funky. I'm not sure if it's the right move, but we'll try that. I think. Well, we could also just get count spell to be honest. It might just be the best option and wait. But nah, let's try to let's try to to do something funny. So we could also heartbeat. Seems super risky, but funny. And then we'll be left with a little bit more blue. Okay, let's let's try to storm this turn. It's probably not the right move, I'm not gonna lie. It is risky and this could backfire because they will have a ton of mana next turn. But it is very funny for sure. And we can jar actually, so we'll we'll see 14 cards. So there's a pretty high chance we can find something good enough to, to win actually. Oh, my match just started. I think we can finish this pretty quickly though. Okay, so let's drop that. <laughs> let's cast channel. Let's lose a bunch of life because it's cool. Let's char. Probably should not have paid that much life, but Oh well. Play two to time twister. Okay, okay, that's not bad. So we can do that again. Dinier signet. Pre or drain. Ten reels, nah, that doesn't really do anything. Bottom, bottom. Draw black lotus, that definitely does something. Pay one more life. Brain freeze them for a bunch, and then sacrifice the jar and kill them, right? Yeah, this definitely works. Cool. That's a turn three kill. That's a turn three kill for you folks. Unless you have an Eldrazi, obviously, in, qua in case, <laughs> in case it's not gonna work. So how many cards left? I cannot see because of the eighteen, I believe. Because we kind of want to use Brain Freeze, 9, 6, I believe they have 6, but I just cannot, can I look at something else, please? Jeez, this stack is annoying me. I can't look, can't see the number of cards they, I believe it's 6 though, so we'll just crack the jar now. And this should kill them, yeah it was 6. So even if they have an Eldrazi left, they will draw 7 and goodbye. <laughs> that was super sweet. Okay, nice kill on turn three. Pretty enjoyable. Uh, yeah, we kind of fizzled round one, but this one, it this 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 round it worked out really nicely. Uh, yeah, that was round two. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and see you for another round.